apparently we are live. How exciting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, okay. So, hi, David. Can you hear me? I unmuted myself. I can indeed. You can indeed. I did that a bit wrong there. Instead of sharing the picture, I think the picture was you and I was going, hello, blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, God, goodness <laughs> me. But we're amateurs, but it's, it's fine. We're professional at other things. And five people are looking. Hello, wow. five people. Fantastic. Who are they? I wonder if I can see. We're just kind of blithering while we um, start people. If you're here, seven of you now. Hello. Oh, hello. Um, <laughs> It's me and then it's you, David. So I'm just going to change the setup here. So we've got the gallery view and we see both of us. And then I'm okay. going to check the Facebook. That seems to be working. Um, could people write in the comments if you can hear us? Say hello. Let us know where you are. Perhaps. Sure. <clears throat> <laughs> Hi, Matt Sillers. Matt Sillers. Oh, Matt Sillers. Sillers. <laughs> Matt Sillers, we like. Hi, Karen. Karen. Hey, hey, from the States. Karen. Yeah. Should we also get Karen Stentiford? Should we also get people to write where they're saying hello from? So, well, <laughs> hello, hi, Karen. Alex. Oh, great. Great. There's Alex Hall, is it? <laughs> yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. He's on his lunch break, I think. He's teaching students soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, yeah. Katie Lee. Hello, Ann Conrad. This is exciting. Well, I just like all of these, and then we should probably talk to each other. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool, actually. <laughs> well done, you. Fantastic. We've done it. We're online. Hi, everyone. I apologise if we don't respond to the next few comments. Please chat away amongst yourselves, blether, blether. And um, David and I will keep talking. I'm just going to quickly share this on my own Facebook page if I can. Can I? I don't know how to do that. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> okay. I am just going to ask questions. So I'm introducing the... Um, the lovely, wonderful David Williams, who was Head of Photography at Edinburgh College of Art for many years, predating that David was and still is a musician, um, at one point number one in the UK charts, is that right? Well, it's a bit more complex than that, actually, but um, you, you know, I push you, because the record was, they refused to play it on the BBC, so it never, but the, the DJs voted it number one, yes. Yeah, so... So we say it's number one. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. if you want to hear David's music, you can go to Little Attic Music on Facebook, where he's been archiving all his kind of thoughts and memoirs about his music. Hmm. Or my on my five, website. The website yeah, is on your website. Yeah, my five-year-old loves it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. She does. She's your top fan. Good. Um, <laughs> That's about the level of it. Good. Oh, no. Um, but the reason we're here today is because we usually have a chat over my garden wall. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're on the promenade um, and we're neighbours. We both live in this amazing place called Portobello, which has changed so much throughout the years. Mm -hmm. And as well as being a photographer and a tutor myself at ECA, I run a little business called Portobello Photography School, which hopefully some of you know if you're here. No. <laughs> I do workshops, but predominantly I'm interested in promoting good photography in the area and looking at the history of photography within our postcode, which is very, very rich. And Patrick Geddes had this phrase, which was think global, act local. And that sort of thing, you know, the more, the closer mm -hmm. you look at something, mm -hmm. the yeah. more you see, the more universal it is. And um, I was lucky to find out the house that I live in is quite old that when David Octavus Hill and Robert Adamson started photographing all the ministers in Scotland for the disruption painting, one mm. of the ministers from that painting was photographed and he lived in this house, in my house where I'm well, sitting. Wow, he didn't tell me that. Which blew my mind. And then I just, since then, I keep finding out <laughs> amazing <laughs> photography Great facts. Stuff. And if you're a total nerd of photography like me, that's exciting. I think Oh, no, it's not. It used to be up on my notice board, but my notice board's all about Edinburgh College of Art at the moment because I'm teaching online. I will stop blethering <laughs> and I will start asking David questions about him. Now, David's been making an amazing project called The Promenader for a few years, which he will tell us about. But um, I'll, I'll, I will stop blethering. I will start asking questions, David. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, David Williams, photographer. What does community mean to you? Hmm. I like the questions you've laid down here, actually. Some of them are going to be a wee bit uh, 
eccentric about others less so but community well it's sharing it's having something in common mm -hmm. sense of belonging that's the word and throughout my life i've never felt i belonged anywhere i've lived to be honest mm -hmm. until i moved here and there's been so many initiatives over recent years to promote that sense of mm -hmm. shared community belonging your photography school being but one oh. no really it's amazing um oh, thank you Paul Lambie's Big Busk is heartbreakingly brilliant, I think. And oh, we amazing. might talk about that later. I might have time. I did a project there on it. I think you came to see it, actually. A kind of moving image Belfield. piece. It's a phenomenal initiative. Mm. Sadly, it can't take place this year. But basically, the length of the prom, you get a whole you know, litany of musicians from kids to virtuosi to rock bands and opera singers. Mm -hmm. It's just fantastic. So, um, Belfield. Um, Tribe Porte, Rosie Naylor, the Art Walk, which we mm -hmm, talk about. Mm -hmm. All the wee shops that have opened up, the cafes, but sort of local needs are catered for and attract people from elsewhere. Portobello yeah. Bookshop, Miro's, yeah. the Beach House, the Chip Shop. Um, and of course, my spiritual home, which is uh, Skylark. The Skylark, where you show your praying bowl. I showed, I had an exhibition there last <laughs> year and I have to say it was, it was a moving experience for me. I thought it was just the perfect location yeah. for that work. So yeah, that's about enough on that. But uh, and we should say as well, Nina, who runs the Skylark, one of the people that runs the Skylark, she helped us judge the photography competition last Absolutely. year. Absolutely, is an amazing photographer in her own right. And she and is as well. Her mother's a serious, serious photographer. Mm -hmm. So no, they're great folks, and uh, it's just that community thing. It all comes back to that. That's how it feels in and around these places. Even the wee flower shop, you know, isn't it great? Mm -hmm. The wild flower <laughs> yeah. shop, I love it. Yeah, <laughs> and loads of other things too. So. Cool. Ask me another question. Next question. What is your favourite photography quote? Well, there are tons. But um, one, I've always liked, I love William Eggleston, the photographer. Mm -hmm. I am at war with the obvious, he says. And which I'm not actually in my work, mm -hmm. really. It's, I'm in love with the obvious and I, I like cliche. It's what you do with the cliches that counts, you know. And that's mm -hmm. something I encountered in music. It's the kind of music I like. Mm -hmm. where you string cliches together in the way that Ron Sexsmith or Randy Newman sometimes, I mean, they're capable of lots of stuff beyond cliche, but taking that kind of vernacular thing and the end product is something much, much bigger. Mm -hmm. Eggleston was willfully at war with the obvious. He wouldn't take a normal picture. <laughs> but I love that quote. Also, Gary Winogrand, you can take a great picture of anything. Mm -hmm. I think that's the most profound thing that's ever been said in photography. He was a kind of bear of a man when he ran, you know, he just, but when he spoke, yeah. you can take a great picture of anything. Well, it begs the question, how? <laughs> okay, <laughs> got a few days, years, but just as importantly, why? Mm. Why would it be possible to take a great picture of anything? Mm. Now that to me is like a kind of Zen thing. You think about it, you think about it. My conclusion is that what he meant, and he was, in his own way, he was a kind of street philosopher, the guy. Mm -hmm. Great book about him on that, with that name. Um, you can take a great picture of anything because it is. If you capture that isness, mm -hmm. you're, in, you're in business. There's a good, there's a good, right? <laughs> it's an unspeakable thing. It's almost an unteachable thing. Mm -hmm. But I think about that, you can take a great picture of anything. The how's difficult enough. The why... If you can get that, I remember, I think, reading something about China. Oh, your sound's just gone. Oh, completely. It's, it's back. It's back. Okay, fine, okay. You know, in uh, Chinese still life painting, you've got your fruit and all the rest of it, your mm -hmm. flowers. Mm -hmm. but beyond that, you're looking for the kind of, the energy that they manifest from. Mm -hmm. An expression of that. Now, it sounds really kind of weird. No, but not to me. <laughs> anyway, photog photography can be really good at that. And then on that, my final quote I've got here would be Raymond Moore. Raymond Moore is just, what a photographer. Talking about unsung. He'd be the best of them all in some ways. Um, murmurs at every turn. Murmurs at every turn. It's the title of a book. Murmurs it's everywhere. Time this thing is whispering all the time, you know? <laughs> you know, in your cup of tea, in your friend, in your dog shit on the road, blah, blah, blah. It gets very, <laughs> very profound. Mm -hmm. 
And I think that aspect of photographic language has been overlooked by many in the fine art community. I don't think they get it, actually. But that's just me being controversial in my old age. <laughs> so there are, those, those would be my quotes, and I find them inspiring. Oh, yeah. I do. I do. I, 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 yeah. yeah. Brilliant. And I remember as a young graduate, when I first graduated from photography, myself and Beth Sanderson, who, hi Beth, if you're here, your dad's mm. here. And we went and we got an invite. We worked in a photography bookshop called Beyond Words and we got an invite to meet yes. Eggleston at Inverley House. <laughs> Do you remember? And you were there as well. And we were like, we should be more nervous because our teachers look so nervous. I was completely... Do you know what I'll tell you? Do you know what I did, you know what I did after that thing? Uh-huh. I was so wiped out by it, actually. So mm-hmm. overpowered. I went to a bar where I knew there would be nobody that I knew. Mm-hmm. In a working class bar. Mm-hmm. And I had about seven pints of beer and I drove home. <gasps> I fell out, yeah, I fell out of the car. Oh I was completely, God. I know, it's a stupid, <laughs> stupid thing to have done. But I remember watching the barman here as I was getting more drunk and I could see every pore on his face, things I would never have seen before yeah. because of this Eggleston show. And one thing that happened outside, I was having a fire and smoked in those days, mm-hmm. and there was a lady next to me, someone who knows about art. Mm-hmm. And she said, what do you think about the show? And I just went, and she looked at me, she says, I don't know why the rest of you even bother. (laughs) 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 It's kind of why I went to the bar. But look, that's me. Not Eggleston's not everybody's cup of tea. Yeah. Well, he got me to hold his drink for him, and it was (laughs) mostly whiskey and boiling hot water. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've got the signed portrait here. I I love him. Yeah. And you've got the invite right behind you, haven't you? I have, yeah. I used to have in my bathroom. I have, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Anyway. Um, Perfect. So, Next question, if you could change one thing about... Well, the next question I have, what does photography mean to you? Yes, oh my goodness. Uh, What does photography mean to you? Ah, Well, I was was hoping you would say that. (laughs) And it's actually one I'd I'd overlooked. I was having a coffee this morning in the Mm -hmm. Skylark. Surprise, surprise. And I was was vaguely looking through these and I thought, I haven't written any notes about this. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's all very informal, but I really went off on one. (laughs) I couldn't stop. It must have been the caffeine. But um, we'll see where it goes, just a few minutes. (laughs) And I might read a bit of it, actually. But it is, it's a great question. So photography, for me, is a friend, a lover, a mother. (laughs) The movies are a mother to me, Cloudon Wainwright once said. What a beautiful thing. A mirror, a window, force for good, in that activist sense. That's not my kind of practice. I'm more kind of homeopathic approach person. Mm -hmm. If I can get one person on my side, that's job done. And I leave the saving the planet in more overt ways to others, actually. <clears throat> and all power to them. Photography is an amazing tool for that. Amazing. But for me, it's more that I make art in order not to cry. Paul Clay said that. Um, mm-hmm. All of which it sounds a bit selfish, but um, one less crying person on this planet might not be a bad thing, really. And I think it puts me in a position to help others in all kinds of ways, actually. Mm-hmm. It's something like that. Roddy McKenna's great, lovely Roddy, an ex-student from there. Hi, Roddy, if you're here. Is he? He's a great guy. I've not looked, but I'll look and see if he's chatting. I'm sure he... <laughs> I saw him doing something like this, actually, and he said, talked about photography, he was talking about, you navigate the universe with the tools at your disposal. Mm-hmm. And oh. mine is, is photography. Isn't that beautiful? Mm-hmm. I'm going to come and, on the Facebook page because it's echoing. Okay. So, but photography now, which we think we need to talk about as well, you know, it's due to exponential changes in technology, seems even more perfect medium mm-hmm. for accessing the notion of the present moment in all its myriad manifestations. Mm-hmm. We don't need to be stuck in a dark room for weeks producing the perfect print to communicate that. But we, must we still can, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I wish we, and there's still a place for that kind of the classical approach, of course, we might say. Mm-hmm. But when you look at what platforms like Instagram now afford us, and I know some of it's ghastly, Hey, rock and roll, ever thus. But when you look at the Instagram post, you know what's coming here probably, someone mm-hmm. like Catherine Joseph. We love Catherine. There are other, there must be she others. She sent me an email the other day saying she loves us both, which was nice. Ah, well, I mean, <laughs> I know virtually nothing about her. She might have, apart from her wonderfully innovative music, she might have a PhD in photography as far as I know. But that work is so raw and immediate. Mm-hmm. It's utterly rooted in the, the moment and put up there immediately for all to see. Mm-hmm. And it lets us know day by day, for me anyway, we're not quite as alone as we feared we were. That's, talk about powerful. 
Yeah. Yeah. Digital and nonsense, of course, like that. It's, and it was so inspiring. You know, it's, I can do that. I can see young people in particular. Look, I can do that. I've got a phone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I've got these moments in my life, you know, it's a bit like when punk first appeared. People just, the kids, they picked up guitars and they thrashed them to death. But the most amazing, untutored masterpieces about their lives. Mm-hmm. Teenage kicks, indeed. So it's marvellous stuff. Mm-hmm. And new, and thanks to technology, it bypasses galleries and publishers. Mm-hmm. Straight to the chase. For me, it's a huge part of the significance of where photography sits right now. In some mm-hmm. ways, it's a threat to the old order, although not really. That will survive very nicely and deserves to. Um, and it's, it should feel threatening, edgy. So cue uh, Ms. Joseph again. Check her out, please. I mean, this sounds like an advert friend. There'll be other people like her. Yeah, Catherine it, Joseph, listen to her music, but look at her Instagram. The, the new, well, yeah, it's coming from the same place. I'm, see, I'm, a, I'm a musician, an untutored photographer who came from music. So I think I simply, I mean, our work's very, very different. Mine's is much more formal than this. But if anyone deserves the work widely published and exhibited, I think it's her. But she might not want it. She might think it would spoil things, you know? I'm sure <laughs> the ways of doing it wouldn't, uh, that which wouldn't spoil it. But, I'm just uh, tagging Catherine in the comments here. Well, yeah. her, her page, her page. Not your but it's, it's a new take on what, I've talked about this before. When I first saw Robert Frank, my jaw just hit the floor. Mm-hmm. I didn't know photography could do that. What well, that is, you know, let's not talk about that. You can't. And I got into photography. Mm-hmm. I think people looking at her work and work like that now, young, you know, untutored people don't go, wow, I didn't mm-hmm. know photography could do that. And I don't want to make too much thing of her. I think she's very, very special. But she represents something and shows how these platforms can be used to kind of great effect. And it's the um, intuition, isn't it? It's that it's kind the, of... It's fearless. The, the thought and the intuition. It's a fearlessness, mm-hmm. which you spend, you know yourself, you're trying to teach students to be fearless all the time. You know, do it. And I mean, you need the talent, of course, but I think as an, an exemplar, she's just... Uh... And look at the response that worked. Thousands of people follow her on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And look how she's getting through to them. She's ripping their hearts out. Yeah. You know? So, I remember the first time I heard her first album, Crying in the Bath. Just and well, the music, her, yeah. Just saying. yes, uh, it's a it's a it's a package. Mm-hmm. But some of that, some of those Instagram things, did actually take my breath away. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm just speechless. I don't know what to say. Well, we should maybe move on. But that was beautiful. Oh no, we, oh, but sorry, you know. I, oh no, it's amazing. It's great. Yeah. Anyway, okay. <laughs> well, let's move on. We're changing things. I think. Yeah. Um, so, sorry, that didn't mean to come across as rude. I was no, just no, 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 listen, listen, I'll blether on forever, you know me. <laughs> Three of our quick, but we're bletherers, that's why we've got the name blether. <laughs> that's, right. that's okay. Glake it, bletherers. So, if you could change one thing about the photography world, what would it be and why? This would be quite quick, I think, because we're going to be saving some time for looking at some work. Mm-hmm. And it's slightly controversial in a way, but um, despite what lots of people say and think. I think Scotland needs a photography centre and museum, or museums too old-fashioned a word, but of its own. It nearly happened a wee while ago, yeah. some years ago, and you know, uh, you know, uh, Graham Murdoch tried to set something up with, I think Sarah Stevenson was involved, Sean Connery was involved, and it was close, you know, Adam, that, the old Adam building, Elder Adam Elder. And, Adam Elder. But, you know, maybe, you know, other people could have got in there as well, but Mm-hmm. I think it needs it. You know, there was, everybody felt great when photography seemed to be, you know, invited under the umbrella of the general fine art community. <clears throat> I don't think it's worked. I don't think it's worked. I think photography is still regarded as a poor relation because there was a bus missed around the 60s and 70s within the fine art community, in my opinion, about mm-hmm. that language thing. And you saw most people at Robert Frank picture with a kind of traditional training in fine art. And they're not, they won't know what they're looking at. They just see a, a two-dimensional black and white object that has no kind of signature. What they don't know is this is this thing and all that, you know, that these people were, I'm not saying, that it, you know, it's changed since then, of course it has. Mm-hmm. But when there was a huge chunk of that language not understood, I think it's problematic for what's going on now, actually. Mm-hmm. And do I'm, you think, yeah. sorry, this is an extra. No, no. No, no, no. Off the top of my head. Do you think that um, organisations like Creative Scotland should recognise photography as an art form in itself and not 
kind of amalgamated into visual art. Well, because I think it's a whole been, photography world, festivals, been, format festival, are all, you know, these places where we have dialogue about photography. Given that it hasn't really worked, I think they should. And if you look at any other country, look, there's no tradition of buying photographic work in Scotland. You know that as well as I do. There's not one. I mean, you know, the Malcolm, they all try so you yeah, Malcolm, Malcolm. a great job through the high Malcolm if he's there. And Ben and you know Annie. Mm -hmm. But their hands are tied. I can say this because I'm not associated with anyone. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's it's just so difficult. Yeah, you go to London, go to go to America or New York. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. The business of selling work, you know, the, the value of Print. photography, mm -hmm. it doesn't exist really. And you know, we're all trying our best. Um, but I think it needs more formal support and I think a centre. Would, mm -hmm. would do it but that's probably not a very popular thing to say um philosophically these days it's all art you know yes but and you know that's the case mm -hmm. well i, I worked in an art i've worked in an art college for 30 years <laughs> i'm working relation. in the art college now but right here yeah. from the seat <laughs> okay. anyway that's good world but yeah I know that's like, um that's probably enough about that it's just that's mm -hmm. a, but that is the one thing that i think we'd <laughs> Okay. So this is now we're getting the good stuff, everyone. Tell us about the work you've made here in Portobello. Right. Now, um, how are we going to do this? Can we? You can share, share the screen. screen. So the green button at the I'll, I'll go into my. Where's mm -hmm. that? So share we'll, screen, right? Okay, do that. Press that. And then post, post disabled attendee screen sharing, it says. That's you. Oh, oh okay. That was my fault. Um, oh, okay, that's all right. What we'll do is I can share it on my screen. Is it your website? Yeah, but I'd like to navigate it though. That's the thing. Is it not possible? Um, oh. <laughs> no, don't worry. Look, if you have to, we'll do it that way. I bet I can change it somehow. No, just let, let, let's just go ahead. David Moore, make host. So now you're Josh. the host. Okay. So <laughs> you're in charge. <laughs> Share, yeah, share. Yeah. Desktop, share. Oh, gold. Allow Zoom to share your screen. Mm -hmm. Open system. Oh, oh gold. I'm, I'm terrified. There's nothing really. Security and privacy. What's all that? I just don't know. Oh, well, no, it's fine. No, it it just shows happening. the screen. The one that you select is the one that you'll see. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. You have to help me. There's so a green thing. Share screen. screen. I press that, do I? Yeah. One participant uh, can share at a time. So, and mm -hmm. what comes up is desktop one. Ah, I see you click that. Yes, and then that should share your screen. Desktop one, allow Zoom open system preferences, it says. Cancel, share, um, hang mm -hmm. on. Cancel, oh, sorry about this. Okay. There's something not, system, system. I think you'll have to navigate it for me. Oh, hang on. Security and privacy is saying now there's a... Ah, uh, you must have some sort of firewall up. Okay. I'll close it, yeah? Mm -hmm. Let's forget it. If you go to my site, can you? <laughs> I can't now because I've made you the host. You have to make me the host. Oh no, how do I do that? <laughs> Reclaim host, hold on. I am now the host. You're the host, okay. So if you, Ta -da! you go, Hi everyone. You, you go to my site. <laughs> I'm at your site. I will share my screen, screen share, David Williams, share. Okay. okay. What would you like to Go share? to uh, projects. I know, um, actually no, go to fragments. Come down again. Fragments. Right, and open the one at the top. Mm -hmm. And go to that image, which is, um, can you see if you scroll down? Mm -hmm. It's yeah, that's it there. That one. Sorry, next one, next one along on the right. Open that. Mm -hmm. So that's probably one of the first pictures I took at Portobello, and mm -hmm. it says nineteen eighty. Might even been earlier actually. And it's by the kind of you know, the groins there, and you know, these these wonderful uh, lamp posts there. Just, oops, it's gone. It's gone. Oh, that's because I'm trying to check that it's up on the screen on, on Facebook. Yeah. Can someone let us know that they can see David's? Um, website. Let's go check. Mm -hmm. Nobody's saying. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry about this. 
Yes, it looks like it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that, everyone. We are Luddites, but we're no, doing no, it. Anyway. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Well, yeah, then this, <laughs> come on, let's start somewhere. So this is, um, yeah, my, my, for my first few rolls of film, really. And I just, I love kind of dissonance in pictures. This is a summer's day. Look at the way this woman's dressed. And she looks so, oh, it's zooming about. Back again. All right. You okay, Alicia? I'm, sorry, I'm just trying to mute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how have I done that? Don't worry. Goodness me. Okay. Do you want to, shall I speak? Shall I speak, Alicia? Yes, sorry. Yeah, that's all right. Facebook and hopefully that'll make it work. Can you hear me now? I, I can, yes, yes. I'm so You're hoping happy? I didn't cancel it there. <laughs> yes, it's still there. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so fine. So this this woman in this hot weather dressed in that very it's not very sharp on the screen, but there's a broken Smarties box in the foreground, and that's her child playing by the sea. Oh. You know, in the swimming trunks. Mm -hmm. It's something very forlorn and anyway, that's that's the kind of thing I was doing down there. So if you go back, mm -hmm. if you go to the that you know they are yeah, okay, and scroll down. Mm -hmm. So stop, maybe um, scroll, scroll down. I'm, right scroll to, down. I'm at the bottom, yeah. No, no, back up to the top oh, again, sorry. Oh, sorry. So stop there and we'll go to the three down, two in, the little boy on the roundabout. Oh. So I'm, I work metaphorically very much still, actually. But mm -hmm. for me, that's the world just thundering around, you know. Mm -hmm. And I it, I'm, I'm always pairing pictures. Mm -hmm. I paired this one with an old man kind of walking into the distance and blah, blah, blah. But that, that was the days of, um, and for some reason I just threw myself to the ground and set the camera for a second, you know. I was and still did a you, musician. Did you still know him? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Okay, back again. Okay, back again. Probably. Um, so, so, yeah. So second row, second row down, that one. And that's the last one we'll look at. So this is a triptych. If you scroll across, it will scroll across. There's three of them. Mm -hmm. So if you scroll across, oh, that's a triptych. So it's just this amazing thing at night. This couple flying a, a big white plane. Mm -hmm. I'm ashamed to say I've lost the negative of the central one. I'm really unhappy about that. But, um, but there we are. So I was down here all the time, even in those days. Mm -hmm. you know, Before you lived level. here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, before I was, even while I was maybe still a musician, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, there's a few other things. But if you go to stillness and occurrence, actually, yeah. yeah. Go to stillness and occurrence. I love that series. There you go. Otherwise, we are, we're, you know, we'll be going on. So if you open that up. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, what can I say? These took five years to make. They almost look digitally done now. Um, but it's again, they're playing off opposites. Mm -hmm. And somebody once described these images as having a primordial pool, which I liked. They kind of suck you in, you know? Mm -hmm. um, they're kind of revoltingly beautiful, but, and I like, again, that cliche thing, stuff that could almost be in a chocolate box cover. But there's also something a wee bit unsettling about these. Some people find them quite disorienting because mm -hmm. that's the void, you I know? I love this one. There's the void and all the stuff coming out of the void and um, that primal pool thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Funnily enough, I was listening to, if you keep going, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Of all people, Frank Skinner on a 700 mile journey with my son on Monday. Driving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's got a poetry podcast. Have you heard about it? No. It's really, really good. I mean, I can't recommend it enough. It's just, he's so passionate, you know? Mm -hmm. And he, he quotes a poem by um, a guy called Gregory Corso. He's doing a thing about the beat poets. Mm -hmm. And I want, this work maybe has a similar sensibility in some ways, you know? It's, it's, it's where we're from, mm -hmm. originally. No wonder we want, we want to hang around it. You know, mm -hmm. on that horizon, you know, where it meets the, the sea and where it gets kind of closed down. I'm fascinated by it. I remember I'd been at some kind of Buddhist thing years ago 
-hmm. And there was a serious kind of rimpish here called do this thing and all these meditation techniques and prostrations and all the rest of it. And it was question time and I could probably reflect on my own mood. I said, look, what if you're just not able to do all that stuff? It's really, really hard and tiring and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And he looked at me, he was kind of, had his mala, you know, they're always praying these guys. And he looked me straight in the eye and he said, just look at the sky. <laughs> Forget all the prostrations and the prayers, blah, blah, blah. Just, the sky or the horizon. Yeah. Now, in Portobello, we have that in buckets and spades. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the final Thank one. You. It's at night. And there's actually a wee light. You can't really see it on this, but there's a, little, there's a lighthouse in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, so oh, that's I the end. Yeah, you mm -hmm. see it more in a print, you know. Mm -hmm. So these were very large scale, and there was a, you know, there's a real sad story goes with them. But there we are, that's life. The negatives got damaged, and um, oh, anyway, I, I don't I know that. Oh, oh, you don't want to. <laughs> um, you still have, you dear, I don't, yeah, I'll not go there. Yeah. But I still make them because they're, they're, the negatives are repaired now, and uh, mm -hmm. they were C type prints originally. I think so. mm -hmm. The prints now are probably better, the ones that I'm making now. And okay. anyone who's been in a week one of my class will have seen this picture, this photograph here. I talk <laughs> about it at length and it ends up yeah. in all the workbooks and in everyone's blogs and, you know, yeah, 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 it's, just, yeah, yeah. it's got okay. everything. So, well, what look, will we show now? <laughs> well, I'll move on to this thing because, you know, we're of time. This thing, the promenader, you know, which is on on Saturday still, which is great. Yes, yes. Art well. 140, Eventbrite. I think that's absolutely, it's been well um, organized in terms of the virus, you know, mm -hmm. uh, socially distancing, people wearing masks. It's a big, big space, you know. Mm -hmm. um, that's on Saturday night. And the, the pictures you see behind me, that's how, <laughs> that's how I work <laughs> with this project. So it's like a Rubik's yeah. Cube. There are hundreds, it might be thousands, there are thousands. Mm -hmm. so they go up there and occasionally I'll just take one down, have a look, see what it might pair with. They often pair things. Mm -hmm. um, and then I've, so I've done this dummy book. And what we're seeing on Saturday, hopefully, fingers crossed, <laughs> um, is kind of a projection of this book. Mm -hmm. But what the moving thing affords, which I really love, I take pretty pictures, that's my thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not everybody's thing. But I want to turn it into something else as I imply it. So it's how mm -hmm. things are juxtaposed, how you drive a narrative with these images, and in the book, even, when you turn from page to page, there should almost be an echo of what's gone before. Mm -hmm. I picked this stuff up from Eggleston and Robert Frank, various people. Mm -hmm. with, a, with a video, you can actually merge images to, you know, they're coming through each other very, very slowly. Very, very slowly. And that's great. Well, that's what mm -hmm. I've tried to do. Mm -hmm. And basically, it's a massive building. There's a projection, a, a film of water, moving water, ripples slow and the images come out of the water and dissolve back into it i mean it's not rocket science what i'm trying to one say one second mm, sure go on okay sorry i thought that our video had vanished it has not vanished sorry facebook people that's fine it's okay <laughs> we're still online <laughs> we're still online but I'll and just, i am I mean, listening i'm sorry yeah just i'll show you this just briefly the, the print the printing quality of this book is really poor but it doesn't matter but that's an extract from the stillness and the current ones right mm -hmm. And it's this business of it's where we're from, as I said, that Frank Skinner talked about, the sea, where we're from. It's the sensibility of this work. Mm -hmm. it's, so then you go to this, this kids on a roundabout, oh. very metaphorical. This kid at the top, and the roundabout's moving. And the, 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 this person has kind of given birth to this. I'm going on a wee bit here. Mm -hmm. No, I, I get it. And the... The sequence is slightly different. I've dropped some pictures, mm -hmm. but so it's not just it's not just the pictures. Then that's the sunset mm -hmm. recorded in someone's window and echoes the that those exploding waves. Blah blah blah. There's all these echoes, mm -hmm. and it's how the pictures combine. And even at one point, we drop away from the pictures and we're back to oh, here's kind of this one. Oh there's, yeah, there's Darth Vader on his way <laughs> Darth to work. Vader, we love that one. And there's that. I mean, you know, a plastic snake on the beach at night. I mean, how <laughs> weird is that? It's That's like so good, Portobello. Good and evil <laughs> thing, and that moves from that into hopefully. This this that's not a great picture, but it just refers to the snake. It says, "Dude," mm. and to me, it looks like a crucifix actually. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. so, you, so that's the kind of thought process. People might not see that. Mm -hmm. But I'm not always picking the best pictures. It's the ones that sequentially work, meld into each other. And then we're back in several times, actually, you know, to the sea itself. Mm -hmm. There's a breaking wave. And that appears in the book. And then in the middle, we're back to the roundabouts, those witches' hat things, which I'm, I've got a thousand more pictures of, more than a thousand. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I go down there and it's, you get it instantly. Sometimes I go, there's a picture of a beautiful um, uh, graffiti of a penis, which I just loved actually, penis and testicles. On the witch's hat? No, it's just no, a bit okay. further down, towards the sea. <laughs> and I must, I'm talking about going back and forward, back and forward. I shot it at night, I shot it with tripod, I shot it with flash, mm -hmm. maybe 20 times, until I got the right one. Yeah. And the other times it's just bang, you know that. So. Mm -hmm. But that's what I'm trying to do. I'm too close to it to know how it works, to be honest. It's just what I've done. And it would be nice to see people together on Saturday night if we can, you know, if it can be managed. And mm -hmm. it's the community thing again, particularly under this, this virus circumstance. You know, we're so starved of, you know, our walk portions had to close its thing. And a lot that's doing, I mean, Rosie's doing a fantastic job. The, the busk is not there anymore this year. Mm -hmm. and so I was really up for doing something like this. And it is fingers crossed. I mean, I'm not, I'm not it's going to work out. So I think it's going to work. I thing. think it, I believe it'll work. And I think um, we should also say Iman Tajik is doing an amazing performance on Saturday. He's a he's great ex-student of mine who we will invite on for a talk okay. at some point. And he's making work about borders and a performance. So it's great. a whole, whole weekend. Well, that, no, you're right. There are them. other things on, of course. Yeah. So we'll move on question-wise and then yeah. we'll finish up. So that and so... How does place, is it? Tell us about the work you've made here in Port Bello. I've said so. How does this place reveal itself through the lens of your work? This could be quite quick as well, actually. It's not so much the place. And you've kind of alluded to something about this earlier, about the kind mm. of universality. It's just that you've got this primordial backdrop, if you like, where we're from. Mm. <laughs> and these day-to-day -day occurrences, just moving mm. or, or evolving, emerging against it. I mean, what more do you want, really? Um, so it's not about Portobello as such, in a way, but it's just the most amazing stage for these things to take place. Mm -hmm. Young, old, firm, infirm. You know, you walk along there. It's, I once sat there for hours and hours with a video camera on just one, just photographing the sea. It was on a tripod, video, with mm -hmm. hundreds of people moving through. It was crap, of course. Robert Frank did that with one picture. You know. Um, <laughs> But it's just the variety of stuff that's going on. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very disparate. And you know, what I've tried to do here is it's very difficult for me to kind of pull it all together into something resolved. And as I see at this stage, I don't really know. But, and it's that, it's that Buddhist story again about the horizon, you know? Mm -hmm. When in doubt, look at the horizon. That's you. Yeah. <laughs> and no wonder people want to be here now under these ghastly circumstances. Mm -hmm. that kind of openness and freedom and you just want to be by the water by the sea it's 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 a primordial pool it's it's to drive me i'm obsessed by it yeah me too every day i think my pregnancy hormones brought me here <laughs> <laughs> well i'm glad they did, <laughs> they did. anyway yeah, so <laughs> we'll, we'll finish up soon i mean i don't want to rush things along but i don't want to you know people to be too uh doing without their lunch. Oh no, it? yeah, thank you everyone for your patience. So we'll try and finish in the next five minutes. So Absolutely. Which, which the last, the last question. notable photographers have links to Portobello and what can you tell us about them? <laughs> well, there's your good self, of course. Oh, well, listen, look, look what you're initiating. It's fantastic. And your own work is just it's amazing. Oh, thanks. And people from all backgrounds and abilities that you're helping in their practice. That's the thing, you know, mm -hmm. it's too precious it covers everything and it's just wonderful it really is and i was just so happy to help out in my teeny little way i did a couple of tutorial sessions with people who were in the competition last year you did yes Graham and, or Alan, i can't remember what to call him mm -hmm. and uh, he's still working away down there on the beach and ah, it's fantastic anyway you know callum said a studio did callum colvin for callum many, many colvin. Years. hi callum if you're hey, watching is he here he might be teaching. He might, uh, he might be teaching. Probably, right probably now, but he's is. Try. But he's a real porty stalwart. And um, mm. 
I mean, he does some great, I see casual, and Callum's got a great eye, as you would imagine. Mm -hmm. On his phone, on the prom, you need to bungs him up again, you know, Instagram. Yeah. And, uh, and the my dog. My goodness. <laughs> the dog's fantastic. Murdo McLeod. Do you know Murdo? Murdo, yes, yes. I mean, come on. Dan Murdo's the Beckies, he's probably the most yeah. creative editorial photographer in the UK. Yeah. Yes. And he's used to see as a backdrop for various reasons. He is a gas, that guy. I mean, all these people have websites, but check, check them out. You'll see and stuff on some people in Portobello will know Murdo more from the sort of boating community because he doesn't talk about it. his he doesn't talk about his photography that much apparently. <laughs> he when he, he's he never did actually. Yeah, the man, is he professional in that respect? And as you say, what one of the best I'm, editorial photographers? No, he is. He is. Yeah. But one thing I forgot to say was for photography for me is providing me with a living apart from everything else. What it was photography for me, mm -hmm. I fed myself and my family, and you know it's been I've been very lucky with that. Um, Rosita McKenzie. Rosita's great, isn't she? Yeah. I have. Now, for I've those who don't know, Rosita is blind, mm -hmm. and she's been working here for ages, isn't she? She has. Yeah. She gave a talk at the college once, and we've had students who've helped her. You may have done as well. I don't know. I know, I haven't helped her out. I know Dave Grinley did quite a lot with her. Dave, skills. Yeah, yeah. Caroline so did, did, I think. Caroline did as well. Caroline, you're and a brilliant photographer from Port Caroline uh, did us. To you um, from uh, ECA, she helps her. And, uh, but, you know, man, what a force. It's brilliant. So that's, I haven't seen her for a while. But, uh, and Katie I don't Brem, know. who's in Berlin. I don't know if you're here at the moment, Kate Brem, but um, she did a project and I think she brought Rosika over to Berlin. Really? To do stuff as well. We Great. used to work together a long time ago. That's fantastic. So, yeah. But the, thing is, the thing is, any photographer, at some point in their practice, will head for the beach. Mm -hmm. Worldwide. You know, as Coney Island or Martin Parr in New Brighton or Tony Ray Jones. It, because it, it's all life. Mm -hmm. Ken all Grant life. as well. All life. Sorry? Ken Grant. Yes, Ken, yeah. Ken Grant. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so Graham McIndoe, he's done a fair amount. He's photographed me down here when he was younger a lot. And I'd, uh, I meant to show earlier, but I forgot. A kind mm -hmm. of double portrait of us down here. Robin Galanders did a really nice portrait of Callum. Of Callum. And one, a really nice one. I was revisiting it last night in, in, in just preparing for this, such as mm -hmm. it was, of myself and Murray Johnson. Yeah. Who, you know, I'd, I'd have to mention Murray. Mm -hmm. um, who died very young and tragically. Um, I got his job. <laughs> that guy was off the scale. Mm -hmm. In his understanding of the media room. Mm -hmm. So a picture of me and Murray and I think Kate and Graham and the kid and on the, the beach there. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I will share these pictures in the thread afterwards. And if we put this on YouTube, I'll add them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And also, if you look at um, Porty Photo Instagram or even photos on our Facebook page, you'll see pictures by David, by Graham McIndoe. I think those works that we've done in Portobello have just been bought by the British Culture Archive. British Culture Archive, mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. called. So they're mm -hmm. being kind of reshared and okay, yeah. things at the moment. But yeah. we all resonate. What's with... going on? Absolutely, what's yeah. going on? So final, um, final, it's one o'clock. Some people have to get back. To I know, I know, I know. And I hope, I hope some of that made sense. And listen, well done. Yes, you I've still got one that. more question. All right, good. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Where can we see more of your work or the people you've spoken about's work? Well, well, in the obvious sense of a website, of course. Mm -hmm. um, but you could maybe flag up that at some point, wouldn't it? Of course, yes. I have, we've In, been sharing it all through this talk. Right, okay, okay. And the Instagram, which features a lot of the, um, the promenader stuff. Mm -hmm. Portrait gallery show my work wheel it out occasionally. Um, mm -hmm. Yep, so there was the pictures from No Man's Land was in the When We Were Young. The, that's right, yes. <laughs> yes, that's right. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's just in that kind of fairly straight and of course, there's this thing on Saturday. Mm -hmm. which I hope some people can make it along to, and I hope it's okay. Art Walk okay. Party, find it on Eventbrite. Art Walk Party. Yeah, and I think you have, you have to book because of the uh, restrictions. It is a massive, I mean, you'll be able to see this thing from the beach, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not sure, it's quite big. And there's fish and chips as well, isn't there? There's fish and chips. I mean, it's kind of press the button and see what happens, stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. there's been no way of testing it. 
Although I saw, uh, I'm doing it with Andy McGregor, really nice. Again, a really talented local guy. He does all sorts. Uh, he's just brilliant. And he's helped me with this. Um, we projected it in, against his wall in his, his sitting room. Did you? <laughs> Looked okay. But on Saturday, it's a very different story. And Andy's very professional with these things. I think it would be, I think it would be all right. And uh, I'm just glad Thank it's going you. ahead, you know. But listen, thank you so much, Alicia. I mean, uh, thank you. Thank and of you course, for we've not left generous. any time for, for questions or interaction, of course. But, there but we um, some people might have to go and that's fine. But are you happy to stick around if we hang up the video and answer questions? Or I could just... Oh, if, if anybody or, wants, of course, I'll just say hello to people, yeah. Or I'll just read some out, if that's okay. Yeah. I'll just um, see if this works without it double echoing. <laughs> Apologies. For oh, that. I see. Okay, yeah, yeah. So... Our video is up. Um, and I'll... <laughs> I'll mute it. So, 18 comments. Hi, everyone. See if I can... What? Um, That's a lot. What are they saying? Hi there. Hello, hello, hello. Hello from ECA. Hi, Alex. Hi, Karen. Hi, Matt. And hi, John. John's got an amazing... Um, project on the prom next beach house just now with lots of community photographers hello 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 um i can't find any questions so if people want to ask questions just ask them under this thread and david will get back to you sorry i should have invited you to answer questions oh david thank you david moore said thanks very much oh david, david moore there yeah Is david moore there? <laughs> david, <laughs> he should hello. be working he should be his work <laughs> it's wednesday <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Davy. Lovely. Thank you so much for tuning in. That's brilliant. Oh, and um, Karen saying, when will the book be coming out? Ah, uh, that's a good question. Um, yeah, it, the lockdown kind of threw everything into disarray. I mean, so many people. It's such a shame, isn't it? In the arts, we all had all these plans and projects. I will try and kickstart it again, but I'll try and you know you you'll know about it. again. I'm doing it with. Uh, with Andy, Andy McGregor, and uh, I think in light of what's happened with the projection, it's going to be better actually when, the, when it does come out. Um, there's a few nice changes I made, I think, but um, you'll be the first to know, Karen, and it's so lovely to hear you. What a fabulous photographer, Karen. <laughs> oh, she is. She, she went to UCA last year. We met, and she was just. Yeah, and she's something. She's, I've so many. Listen, that teaching thing for me. It, for periods, huge periods of time, it's such a delight. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you know, you know, it's just... Yeah, uh, I love teaching as well, I do. I love, the best thing about teaching is the interactions and the conversation. I miss it, I have to say, mm -hmm. which is why I'm gibbering on so much now. Yeah, but no, it's good. <laughs> well, their loss is my gain, because I get ah, a photo, photo chat every morning. <laughs> um, yeah. Scott Hunter, thank you. David and Alicia, got a class Scott. to go to. And David Moore said, this is work. Thank you, David. You're correct. Yes, I know. Thank hard you. work, David. It's hard work. <laughs> it is right. It is work, of course. Oh, perfect. Well, I think we should probably wrap it up there. And then if anyone has any more questions, we will pop in and out of the Facebook page later. Thank you so much, David. Round of applause. I can do thank an you. emoji. Round of applause. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> and um, thank you so much for being so generous with everyone with your thoughts. Oh, and your come on. I, I think it's my, my pleasure. utter pleasure and good luck to you with the whole thing. Oh. I'll see you very probably this afternoon when I'm out for my walk. <laughs> I'll see you in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye bye. Okay, see you soon. Take care. Bye. Take care, everyone. <laughs> bye bye. Cheers.